Eredivisie flop in the making or the dynamic upgrade to Ziyech Chelsea fans have been crying out for. Just how good is Noni Madueke? Madueke's goal-scoring stats are impressive but disingenuous. He's barely completed three proper seasons of football, but despite the lack of football, he's been efficient with what minutes he's had, which explains why his stats look so roided. Now, breaking down his game technically, Madueke's favoured finish is driving across on the run and then cutting it into the opposite corner with precision. His ability to finesse is not quite evident just yet, but what he does do brilliantly is check back onto his right and put away finishes with that right foot. Not many inverted wingers, especially those who favoured their left foot coming in off the right, are good at this, but he reminds me a bit of the younger Riyad Mahrez, who especially in his Leicester heyday, had no hesitation in striking with his weaker foot. And he usually drills it across goal when he does try this. Anthony and Gakpo are probably proof that the Eredivisie doesn't truly test the powerful progression element of a winger enough, i.e. can the winger in question beat one or two players of a high physical standard from a standing start? Can they eat up yards? Can they leave these players for dead? Now, having said that, Madueke's explosive frame and the sheer volume of his ball-carrying stats seems to suggest that he's the Eredivisie's answer to an Usman Dembele, a tactical profile which I've mentioned in previous analysis videos that Chelsea need but it remains to be seen how effective Madueke can be in the more physical Premier League. But he should in theory be able to wreck more fullbacks than an Anthony. Technically, Madueke has a lot to his dribbling. He's got flair, he can shift using his laces or feint, check onto his weaker foot. So there's plenty of variety and it's not surprising when you consider he's a Palace graduate following the mould of the likes of Zaha. But he does remind me of players like Eze and Elise too. Possession-wise, Madueke is someone who's pretty involved in the game. He's not a pure wing-forward type, more of a player who wants to just get on the ball often and help drive the team forward. I wouldn't call him a pure playmaker, but neither is he a pure dribbling merchant. He's someone who's quite adept at given goals. He's typically schooled in Dutch football, and that explains his high pass accuracy. I don't think his link-up play will be as classy as a Hakim Ziyech, but it'll be solid enough to combine with a Reese James and I don't envisage a large amount of ball losses down the right flank due to brain dead decision making. One thing you can say about these Eredivisie wingers who come into the English league is that they don't give the ball away often. For a powerfully built explosive winger Madweke has a surprisingly delicate touch and an acute mind for the killer pass. He's usually at his most threatening when he's scything across the pitch, driving in with his left, and he spots options even on the run and has the composure to wait the pass correctly. It's worth noting that playing in a weaker league does give you more time to find those options whilst on the run, and there is less pressure on getting those passes right. We've seen Anthony, who was a creative maestro in the Eredivisie in terms of his stats, and in the English league, he's not waiting his passes as well due to the speed of the English game and the pressure he has of making good decisions whilst at a club the size of United. So, does Madueke have the body of work to suggest that this creative impact will definitely be transferable? No, but the eye test does suggest he's potentially a dual threat in terms of goals and assists. Crossing does form a significant part of Madueke's game and his 44% accuracy rate is pretty impressive. I'd argue, however, it's not really supported by the eye test. Whilst he does demonstrate an impressive bipedal ability to get the ball in, his crosses do at times have an air of loopiness to them. They are at times underhit too. He can often find the target, but I would question just how dangerous the crosses are when it's a more complex cross to execute and whether he has that higher level zip and curl you associate with the best crosses. Most of his crossing assists are either slide crosses across the box, cutbacks, or far post hang-ups, which is still impressive, but it's not crosses I would consider to be the hallmarks of a truly world-class crosser. But what I would say is there seems to be a greater willingness to put the ball in with his weaker foot than a ZH. So that gives 
him and hopefully Chelsea an air of unpredictability. Madweg. Madweke's long passing is very underdeveloped at this moment in time. He doesn't look like a player who sees switching the players a big part of his game, but he needs to work on it, especially if he wants to be a part of this Chelsea first team. You know, the likes of Mudrick and Chilwa playing on the opposite flank. They're going to want the ball switched out to them at the right moments. At this moment, technically just looks very raw. Decision making looks scattergun. So he's probably going to have to resort to focusing on his short passing game at this moment in time. Aerially, Madueke is not someone who regularly competes. He can be seen to shirk challenges and almost allow opponents to climb over him. Part of this is the fact that he's not really had enough men's football under his belt. So he hasn't really become battle-hardened in that sense. And perhaps his fear of recurrent injury plays a part in him being reluctant to jump around for headers. Now, the concern is that if he's struggling to physically impose himself in aerial battles in the Dutch league, which is understandable, you know, he's still a young player, still learning the game. But how will he fare in the English game? So that this is a part of his game which will definitely require a period of adaptation. Madueke performs a fairly standard amount of defensive actions and he's got a fairly solid anticipation of where the ball is headed. But in my opinion, he needs to become more robust in the challenge. Now, I get that the stats are saying he does feature in a highly successful amount of defensive actions. But the eye test has a number of examples where he needs to be just more aggressive. He's so close to winning the ball, but because he hasn't really committed to the challenge, the opposition player has been able to escape with the ball. In the Premier League, he's going to have to be a lot more aggressive in the way that he goes in for these tackles. Tactically at PSV, Madueke played as a right wing in a predominantly 4-2-3-1 setup. Due to injury, he's not really been able to truly hold down that position. But when he was fit, he was usually a starter. What will he bring to Chelsea? Well, when he does start, he'll be expected to be an inverted right winger, regardless of what formation Chelsea use. If it's a 3-4-3, his role will be slightly different to the 4-3-3 in that he'll be slightly closer to goal and he'll have Rhys James occupying the flank and sharing crossing duties. What Madueke brings is that ability to drive the team up the pitch and he'll also be expected to play in the likes of Mudrick whilst on the run and also provide that air of unpredictability against the low block due to his flair and his ability to hit shots and cross even with his weaker foot. In conclusion, Madueke should at the bare minimum have a Trossard-like impact coming off the bench due to his air of unpredictability. Due to his injury record and his lack of experience, it's difficult to say if he can come in seamlessly into the first team and become a fixture in Premier League football. In terms of the ceiling, I don't really see a generational talent here, but I do see a player with a number of interesting attributes which suggest that if he can remain fit, if he can develop, he could prove to be an astute signing who in the long term provides more effective cover than a ZH did who was not very well suited to English football, was too slow and proved to be more style than substance. Chelsea will hope in the long term Madueke can become their Bukaya Saka, but he's not as complete as a Saka. But there is an air of unpredictability to this kid and he'll certainly get their fans excited now and again. But don't expect him to rival Mudrik as the face of the club. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe and see you guys again next time. Bye.